Hi, I'm Dr. Alexa DeLon and I'm Vice President of Veterinary Services here at Mississippi Aquarium. We wanna thank all of you who have asked about Stella or given us support on her case and just let you know she's back in Aquatic Wonders, ready for you all to come visit her. Prior to Stella having surgery, she had a really pronounced bend to her spine and she was not swimming well at all. She was having trouble using the habitat and she was not eating. Stella presented to the veterinary team uh, with scoliosis and an unstable back, um, that which required surgical intervention in order to stabilize her back. So we assembled a team really quickly of veterinarians and human medical professionals. Um, it actually started by us just discussing if doing surgery on a shark's spine would even be possible. We threw around some ideas, we reached out to our colleagues, and um, several of them offered immediately to come help us, which we really appreciated. Um, we basically identified that we needed an anesthesiologist, um, which was Dr. Shane Boylan from South Carolina Aquarium, who's a veterinarian who specializes in fish, um, who would be able to anesthetize Stella for the prolonged procedure. And Dr. Grayson Cole, who's a veterinary surgeon. Then we got put in touch with Jay Smith, who's a human orthopedic nurse practitioner here in Gulfport, and he was offering to help us in any way he could. He actually recruited Dr. Joe Cox, who's a spinal surgeon, and Jason Lowry, who's the person who donated all of the supplies necessary for Stella's surgery. So it was a really quick turnaround. We put the whole team together in about 48 hours and everybody did everything out of the goodness of their hearts. While Stella was recovering, she was in an off-site facility so that she could have a full habitat to herself without anyone bothering her. And during that time, our animal care team did physical therapy that involved making her swim in different directions and challenging her by putting some obstacles into her enclosure to make sure she should to make sure she could navigate. And then we also did some station training. So we gave her a station that let her know this is where you need to come over and eat. And that is really crucial because now that she's back in Aquatic Wonders, we need to ensure that every time we put that station in, she says, oh, it's time to eat and swims over and takes a fish. Now that still is back, if you come visit her, you'll notice that she still does have a curve and kind of a hump to her spine. That's because of the way that her spine healed during the surgical process. So she's always gonna look a little bit different than other Santagra sharks. So since bringing her back to the main habitat, um, one of the things that we've noticed um, compared to how she was before prior to the surgery is that she's actually using more of the habitat now. So you'll actually see her go up to the surface completely, go to the bottom of the exhibit. We have a deep exhibit here, um, which she wasn't using fully before. Uh, she typically liked to stay in one specific pattern when she was in the exhibit prior to that. She's hit really important milestones. She's actually come over to the station and she's had some fish while she's been here in Aquatic Wonders. And that was one of the things we were most concerned about. So the fact that Stella's eating consistently, we're very, very excited about. When you come see Stella, you may notice that she has some scars on her skin. And that is where we did the initial cuts to start her surgery. So if you see those, you'll see them on both sides. That's where we opened up her skin so that we could access her spine to place the plates.